Have you ever seen one of those YY TikTokers who have been swapping their gun and fluttering around the map like an absolute butterfly? Sometimes they can kind of be annoying with their movement. But at other times, it seems kind of blissful and kind of fun to watch. Well, today we're not going to talk about how to YY and weapon swap our guns, but we are going to talk about how to get better movement and how to make our movement look more smooth and use it to get more eliminations in Rebirth Island. So we'll talk about secret movement mechanics that you probably don't know about, or even just how to refine and improve our movement. Shout out to Anodi Gang, and as always, let's get into it. Now, some of the things that we're gonna cover here are as simple as basic slide canceling and the best settings, which if you go to your settings, one thing that you can do even in the pregame lobby to just make sure you've got it right, is make sure you have single tap to sprint, automatic tackle sprint, and slide only to get those cleaner slide cancels. Because if you disable dolphin diving, you can actually get a way cleaner slide cancel which will allow for cleaner movement. Now, of course, because we don't have unlimited tax sprint, it's not as clean as it could be, but maybe one day. So to actually illustrate just how this movement works, we're actually gonna land at a place like Doc because the first thing that we're gonna talk about is just better mantling. So it, there's really a lot that goes into better movement mechanics, but first, I'm just gonna try to find some sort of gun that way of like, you know, some reber sweat does happen to push me. I'll be in a good situation here. And honestly, looting is a whole nother thing in Rebirth Island because you want to be very quick about your looting. All right, we've got attack eradicator here. So let's kind of just show you even with this slow gun. The first thing is when it comes to mantling. So whenever you're jumping up on a ladder, and this is huge. Let me try to find an SMG or something. There we go. Just in case we get pushed here. You never know. Especially since you guys aren't subscribed yet, some of you, we might get pushed. When you jump up a ladder, you always want to hit the middle of the ladder. And immediately you're jumping up. That way you can easily push somebody and aim at somebody quicker if you're up that ladder. Now, if you have a pistol in your inventory and you hit that ladder, you can actually aim even without a pistol. Notice this. Look, I don't have a pistol, but if I get up here. That makes it a lot easier to push people if you can hit that middle of the ladder. Now, another movement mechanic that I like to have on is I have to have automatic mantle on in my controller settings. But I like to put movement-based ledge climb behavior on. The reason for that being that you can easily mantle up this stuff. All right, well, since somebody's pushing us, we'll go and do our next movement mechanic. Our next one is actually something we can't do right now. Because had we had Mountaineer, you can actually go off of this zip and land here with no fall damage. So of course we'll have to get Mountaineer to actually show you this. We're not afraid of no, oh, okay. I guess we are afraid of a mortar strike there. Now, another little tip that I don't like to tell a lot of people, so don't tell this to anybody, is when somebody's pushing me in control, I like to sit here. That way I can actually shoot somebody on the step there. And then as I shoot them, if somebody else is pushing them, I can shoot down and just also take that fight. We're just trying to give you all the tips here. Yet another tip is if you fight on this head glitch, you can slide off, slide back here, this is like the perfect spot to fight in control center. Now we've already got like three or four tips that you guys might not have known, but now we're gonna talk about really like a big one that a lot of people don't know about. And it's this zip here. So there's a few different things with the zip. Oh. Somebody's pushing us. Oh, good shots, bro. So you see there, uh, that guy is actually a TikTok YY movement demon. We're both trying to use the door, ironically. Look at this. We're both fighting on the door. The only reason he kills me is he has a loadout HRM. But if you can shut doors on people, you can get a lot more kills, just like that situation there where the both of us just had. So ironically, we failed on the zip line. So we're going to have to go back to that one to kind of show you guys how that one works. I feel like somebody over here, let's use the zip on him. If you want to challenge somebody who's like sitting up here, that's one of the best ways to do it is just to jump up the zip. So how you do it is you're going to spam jump as you get to the top of it. All right, this guy's here. Let's try to use it on him. And just jump. And this guy would... Oh my gosh, these guys are fighting each other, bro. <laughs> I did not know there was two up there. 
But still, that zip could be one of the best ways to challenge people. Once again, you're just going to go to the zip line and you're just going to spam jump. And you can even get it where you can land perfectly up. Where you don't have to mantle or anything, which is obviously going to be great. Oh, we're actually dead here. Well, those are some secret moving mechanics. Okay, now we're queuing back into Rebirth Island to kind of show you what you need to practice if you want to get better at movement. I've shown you some hidden mechanics, some that you might not know. Let's just talk about basic how to improve your movement on Rebirth Island. We're dropping into solos here, guys. Drop a subscription if you haven't already because my voice is kind of going after a full day of teaching. A lot of projecting, man. I think you should project that subscribe, but okay. Editor, just, just cut to the next part. So if you want to get better at movement, first of all, we got to actually land in a POI that will kind of allow us to and that's going to be a poi that is center of the map i encourage you guys to land in somewhere where oh look at that bro hey buddy you like that movement where you can really just get in the mix force yourself to improve and focus on slide canceling around corners with your aim so what i mean by this oh somebody on the back side okay well there you go <laughs> Yo, that was kind of out of pocket. Editor, please don't sh- Nah. <laughs> All right, well, like I was saying, Editor, we can go back to that last clip and put some slow, dramatic music on when I slide canceled. I slide canceled around the corner where the guy couldn't see me, right? When you are pushing opponents, you want them to be just out of your line of sight, and you want your white dot or crosshair that you can see in the middle of my screen to line up with where their movement is. To do that... You're gonna have to practice figuring out where enemies are gonna be as you're actually slide canceling and trying to line this up with the middle of the screen. So what you can do is just take an AR SMG, practice sliding around corners and lining that crosshair up. I got somebody below me. Yo, somebody below me right now? You're about to be below me in the gulag, buddy. I hear you over here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, me too. Gas gang, you're gonna wish the gas got you after I'm done with you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Show me, bro. Here's what we do. We're gonna showcase the movement right here. You know what my nickname in high school was, buddy? Oh! <laughs> better, better like the video, baby. All right. Well, what we did here to actually win that fight is quite simple. We had some atrocious mother freaking shots. What were those? We jammed the door and because we slide canceled through an object and hip fired, we were actually able to win there. Without good movement and hip fire, we're not winning that fight, man. And that is honestly a great embodiment. I swear this isn't scripted. You know, this isn't like a Nick A30 skit, even though I kind of look like Nick A30 if I put my glasses on. Never back down, never what? We are family friendly out here. But trust me, that wasn't scripted. Now, if you want to keep getting better... Ooh, a loady chest. Piece of candy. If you guys do want to get better on movement, I am going to... While I'm in this Rebirth Island... Excuse me. Thank you. I'm trying to shut the door. Get some privacy here with my viewers. What you can do is go into your settings, go to controller, and copy these type of settings here. So if you put on automatic tactical sprint, slide maintain sprint, single tap to sprint, I like to have grounded mantle on, slide only, movement based ledge. For me personally, this is a preference. Turn on sprinting door bash. And then really these settings don't matter as much other than prioritize interact because it allows you to quickly loot and like keep pushing. I can just boom. I'm not wasting time trying to loot. Try those settings and then just try to do a few things. One, try to use zip lines, right? So let's go try to use a zip line. Try to run through doors while you're fighting people. And then as I slide cancel, I'm always having my crosshair in the middle of my screen when I'm trying to push people. You do those things. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and join the Discord so you can sometimes come through the live streams, that'll make you better. We almost just hit that mine, but because we cut our shoot early, we didn't die. Guys, that's how to get better movement on Rebirth Island. My name is Chris Seafrights. Stay humble, stay hungry. Another video on your screen. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another one, baby.